Rufus Replicare, more commonly known as the Dodo Bird, is quite possibly the dumbest creature I've ever seen in my life. It wanders around the beaches of the island, eating berries off bushes, and being eaten by all manner of carnivore. Without the dodo, the whole island's food chain would disintegrate. This subspecies of dodo has developed a unbelievably clever way of sustaining itself. They mate constantly. I'm barely convinced that they reach full maturity within a week of being born. This is the only trait keeping their populace on the island. There's almost no reason to domesticate a Raphis Lazorus. It cannot carry enough weight to be a beast of burden, it does not provide much food, and it's too stupid to show companionship. I suppose it could work as a last ditch food source though. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have the Dodo. And the developers of this game have actually done this bird quite right. If you look at its chest, it is actually not that bulkish, and if you look at its bottom, it has got a big booty. This bird is actually very low weighted, and compared to what some Europeans would call a very fat or stout bird, this bird actually wasn't. Matter of fact, recent discoveries have actually shown that, just as illustrated here, the dodo is actually quite bottom heavy, but that's because of the fact that it's very bipedal and it actually moved decently fast. The only issue is, is it was literally the alpha of its place, which a lot of you are going, well if it was an alpha, which is already surprising news, why would an alpha predator, who could run fast, be killed off so quickly? Well, when you're talking an alpha predator, two things either happen. Either A, they become very scared and skittish, or B, they become curious. It has been proven time and time again, both with gorillas, lions, and many other creatures, not just alpha predators in fact, that they will actually become more curious when new things are introduced to their environment, generally looking at them, poking at them, and trying to figure out how they work. The dodo is sadly no different. When European settlers came to their island, the dodo had no natural predators. It was pretty much curious of humans after so long, and when it went to go investigate and European settlers could actually see that the dodos would come after them, well, the Europeans did as anybody would, and made them a food source. Sadly for the dodo, from all indications, they were quite delicious because they were hunted to extinction. Now, the difference between this dodo and the dodos of real life is this dodo reproduces quite quickly. I cannot shun the game developers for saying this because any creature that goes from the top of the food chain and is dropped down is either going to die out or find a means to survive. In this case, the dodo not having very much time to redevelop itself has developed a way of keeping its population up, aka breeding. Keeping its numbers as high as possible and chances are those that didn't breed quickly enough would die out so those that bred more would more likely survive in larger packs. On that same note, I'm actually going to attack the dossier, because that's what this is about, comparing it real life to the fictional characters here. And ironically, the, the main thing that the dossier says that I actually have to contest is the food source. Dodos apparently lay eggs quite frequently, and it's been said that you can actually have a large group of them if they are pinned up properly and they will produce several several eggs so having said that having a large amount of these dodos would actually provide a fairly sustainable food source for any one two possibly three survivors meaning a lot of dodos means a lot of eggs and a lot of eggs means a lot of food so they are actually a plentiful food source if you don't count the dodo itself, which is amazing. Aside from that, the dodo is exactly how the dossier says. They're brainless, they're mindless, they don't seem to be good for very much, so aside from that minor perk, they're not really worth taming. Now, it has been said that the yellow berry is actually the best berry for them. However, if you look on the wiki, it says the mijo berry. This is up for debate, seeing as the birds and the, or not the birds, the herbivores of the island will all enjoy mijo berries before they will take anything else. However, this does not act as their primary favorite food. 
so in some cases the mijo berry will actually hurt your taming process. Do some research and find out for yourself or maybe experiment a little bit. See which tames them faster. Anyway you look at though, the dodo tames within 5 to 10 minutes, will take anywhere between 10 to 30 narco berries, and generally 2 to 5 narcotics, pretty much 1 through 30. After 1 through 30 you may find yourself using more, seeing as the recent update now makes creatures on normal official servers quite high leveled. You could find that level 60 dodo. However, on the downside, I have to say that the dodo, even with increased level, isn't really worth taming aside from those eggs. They don't have any good combat skills, they don't have the health or attack damage, or even the survivability to take on anything else on the island. Even with an army of them, you're probably not going to kill very much. They're best as a food source and maybe as a very, very dumb pet. Aside from that, I wouldn't even bother. On that note, you guys take care, stay safe, thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, feel free to let us know. If you don't, well, let us know down in the comments why and we'll take it from there. Stay safe, stay well survivors, and good luck.